Welcome to Doc's Office Hours. It is the 4th of March, 2021. So topics I had on my list included Contributor Summit Retrospective, She Code Africa Contributhon, Google Season of Docs, Google Summer of Code, and Docs Roadmap. And I think that last one we should just accept. We won't touch it this, this session. Uh, any other agenda topics that you'd like to put on the list? Okay, cool. So uh, the survey was sent, sent for the Contributor Summit. Please be sure that you reply, to, respond to that survey. Even if you didn't attend, if you registered, you should have received the survey and non-attendance is, is actually an important piece of data. Any comments that either of you wanted to offer directly here outside a survey or otherwise? Okay, great. Next topic then, She Code Africa Contributhon. So, Zinab, uh, let's see. Ideas are being collected. I'll I'll gather them. I think I think I'm going to make this office hour session the the gathering place until we submit a poll request. Uh, and hang on just a minute. I've got background noise that I need to fix. Sorry about that. Okay, so. All right, so we need to prepare a pull request to Jenkins.io uh, proposing the She Code Africa project ideas. Uh, any concerns there or questions or worries? Um, no, just that um, I just wanted to point out that um, we really appreciate it if we could um, kind of like conclude this before the 19th of March, because that's when um, the participant's application is going to end so that um, we can use this in selecting um, the participants that are going to participate in the bootcamp for us to be able to meet up with the April 1st timeline. Okay, that makes sense. So I assume we'll continue discussing each week. So our next checkpoint will be the 11th. Uh, a week from today, and and we should have it ready then and visible. Okay, thank you. Great. All right. Um, so, and then let's see the Jenkins project application to She Code Africa. Oleg has, has shown a very good model for us as how to do that. Mark draft answers to the survey, uh, publish them for review before we ever submit the survey or for the answers to the uh, questions. Publish them for review, then invite uh, others to review and comment. Proposed application. It, it, it helps because then we, we use this to align with others. We'll do the same thing with Google's season of docs. Okay. We had this topic on computing resources. So Zinab, you mentioned that in the project ideas application, we can describe there, hey, if we're, if we're inviting them to do something that's documentation centered, we can ask for someone with Linux so that we don't put them through the experience you had of initially wrestling with Windows development that just wasn't really ready to do. Uh, yeah. Is it reasonably common that the applicants would have access to Linux? 
Hmm, that's another thing. I can't really say. Okay. But I know um, Windows is more popular. Though, let me not, I don't know. But I just know that most people have interact, interacted with actually using Windows PC. Okay. So I can't really say. But then again, even if you we were to end up selecting um, someone to use um, a Windows, um, using a Windows PC to work on documentation, I'll be happy to work with them, you know, in trying to set up um, their Windows PC to run the documentation platform. Great. All right. Just knowing that Windows computers are more common in Africa than Linux is already a good thing so that we we bias towards projects that can be done comfortably on, on Windows, like, um, for instance, the terminology cleanup, because it's a Java compilation process, can be done very confidently on Windows. Uh, same with the pipeline examples. Good. Okay. All right, anything else you want to guide us on there on the Contributhon application? No, I think that's it. Um, aside um, information on the project, uh, probably like a description, you're going to need to put in um, like a description of the project. Say, if you're talking about terminology cleanup, maybe like a description of what is about or something like that. Uh, probably if you have somewhere on Jenkins.io that, um, like you mentioned, you're going to open a pull request. So um, a link to a page like that would be useful in the um would be useful in the application form um because another um usefulness of this information is at the end of the day we plan to um, put everything on the program website like all the available um mentoring organizations and the project so um that's where the description also would be useful because we plan to put it there then also links to join um forums that would be useful for anyone working on a particular project or working on the Jenkins project forums that you can join if they need help and things like that. Then also mentor information for projects. Um, then also number of participants per each project. Say if you want one, part, one um, participant per each project or two. Um, yeah. So I think those are. Okay, that, that, you highlight a, a point for me, number of participants per project. Some of yeah. these projects are in fact, they could in fact be done parallel if a team were willing to work together. Okay, Kristen, maybe you should sanity check me just to be sure here. But my thinking was, for instance, um, pipeline examples or terminology cleanup might be a thing where a team of three or four contributors might gather together for a mentoring session with one or two mentors where we could actually get more contributors than mentors in the meeting and and be coaching them where they each take a different subset of plugins to work on do you think that have you have you seen anything like that done before do you think it could work um i haven't seen it but i think being able to kind of have a common time to do activities would be helpful and maybe that would be able to say like the more the merrier type deal <laughs> and it's and be able to have everybody together um that way it's mentors or sorry the contributors can help each other and it may not be as important to have so many mentors sitting on the same in the same place like that yeah yeah i think that might be an easier way to get people to help too yeah, so and I, I think that's at least for me that that sounds it sounds like it would be an interesting experience. Uh, allow contributors to assist one another, not just rely on oh I'm the lone person working on this project and my mentors are half a world away on a different continent. Exactly. 
So um, one of the reasons why, um, another reason why we choose to have this setup is, you know, considering that we have a short timeline, so um, probably might have a project that might be much for one person or one person might not be able to manage within that project timeline. So having multiple, multiple people working on that project would um, kind of like, they'll be able to accomplish more be able to support each other and you necessarily don't need to have more mentors or you need to just probably one meeting or two meetings twice a week to meet with all the um, mentees at the same time and and do you think that i since there's they're agreeing to work full time on it i yeah. think it's safe for us to assume that they can therefore adjust their schedules to meet Good. Very yes. good. Okay. Super. So that that is a that is an aspect that I had not considered. Thanks. Okay. Excellent. Sorry, just trying to check the form. If there's any additional information. Sorry, you were, I missed that, Zinab. You were trying to check. Yeah, I'm going through the form um, oh, to see okay. if there's any additional information that I um, forgot to point out. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, that's all. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Great. Okay. All right, anything else then on She Code Africa? Contribute on. Nothing for me. Okay. All right, Google season of docs. Oh, wait a sec. I've got one more topic to add to the agenda. I'm going to take it in now. I'm going to insert one site search. I have to show this. Plugins and docs. So in the in the contributor summit, one of the things that was listed as a roadmap item for the, the project was to support site search. So searching within the Jenkins site and we've had plugin search for a while using a relatively um, complicated search interface that we've done ourselves. Um, now we're using Algolia and their search system makes the site the searches quick and tunable and we get all sorts of interesting metrics from them and uh just really pleased with the results here now it gets even better is that now if i go to the jenkins pages there's also a search and and again this is offered to the to the jenkins project by algolia no charge so we now wow. have search now we need we need a little bit of you can see that the layout like, yeah isn't quite right and so we'd love to have additional tuning but this only just arrived this morning so so we're really quite pleased it looks it looks good it looks usable and and now look it even fits its sizes down to Sweet. a 640 yeah. by 480 screen and still works so it's we're very very pleased So just FYI, uh, if you're interested, it's it may be a place that we might consider as a possible project idea. My guess is it's probably not well suited to SheCode Africa because there are a number of complications hiding in the, the structure of the site. Okay. But glad that site search is working, both enabled, visible. There's more to tune and adjust to for, for layout, for content, for search effectiveness. And we're we're working on. Uh, next topic then, Google season of docs. 
So this is one where project ideas from the Jenkins project, and I assume what we'll do is use the She Code Africa ideas process to gather ideas for larger scale projects in the in the, in Jenkins. Uh, I'll submit the mark, prepare the uh, pull request uh, for GSOC 2021. Oleg has confirmed uh, that we have the ability to handle the financial processing that we need. Uh, there were some relatively minor limits that he described in the governance meeting last last a day or two ago, it looks good. Any questions on Google Season of Docs? Um, how about mentors? Uh, mentor recruiting will be the same challenge there, although mentor recruiting for this one, because the projects don't start for quite a while, mentor recruiting is feels to me less crucial. Um, if I remember right, the writing starts in June. And so we've got some time to time to gather. Let me double check just to be sure. Accepted doc Deva. Oh no, I take it back. Doc, technical provider hiring deadline is May 17. So in May we'll start it. So yep, we're gonna have to do some mentor recruiting as well. Anything else there? Nothing else. Okay. Google Summer of Code. So the pipeline steps docs generator project idea, which is a coding activity that directly helps documentation has been added. Oleg's also done a nice improvement to this. He fixed a number of mistakes I made in the initial submission and um, it's looking much better. That's a, that's a great, Great result. Oh, yeah, that's the draft. So, Kristen, you're still okay with being a potential mentor for this on the assumption that you'll only, only mentor one, not we wouldn't have you mentor more than one. Sure. I, I think the big thing for me is like there needs to be more than one mentor per, per project. Yes. <laughs> that, that's yes. the big catch. I like there needs to be more than one person responsible for helping go through all this stuff because that's not a fun experience. Yeah, abs absolutely. Well, and, for and anyone. with <laughs> like the world of COVID-19, I absolutely mm -hmm. don't want us to sign up for something that has only one mentor, right? That's, that's just too risky. Right, right. Okay, good. Uh, we do have another one related to this, the REST API one that, that feels to me like almost a, a, a springboard or a piggyback on this same concept. So, so we've got two projects that are related to uh, Google Summer of Code 2021 and a direct impact on, on documentation improvements. There's this, where was it? Uh, automated special, the automated specification generator for Jenkins REST API that looked like it could very much use the same techniques as pipeline yeah. steps. Yeah, I think it's going to come down from, I think it's going to be very similar, like the beginning part to generate, to get the information is going to be the same. It's just how it's, how the information is exported or like what you're doing after you've basically assembled a list of all the plugins. Right. Super. Okay. Let's see. So also already includes... REST API doc generator. I'll put a link to that. Anything else on Google Summer of Code? Nothing for me. Okay. And I don't have any progress to report on the docs roadmap inventory. I've got to do the, 
I've still got contributor summit things I've got to do to get the roadmap updated on Jenkins.io. It will probably be several weeks before that makes any substantial progress. Any other topics before we close for the day? None for me. No, nope, none for me either. All right. Thanks to both of you. Uh, recording will be posted probably within the next hour or so, day or two at most. Bye. Great. Thanks. Bye. Bye.